Yo, what's going on, SGM family? I'm Scholar Gamer Nerd. Today's gem is expressing gratitude is a vulnerable choice. Take a look around and focus on what's there by yours truly, SGN 3030, aka me. So I want to keep this one brief and simple, guys. What it means to express gratitude as a vulnerable choice, it means that saying thank you and focusing on what you have versus what you don't have requires you to be humble. It requires you to have a tremendous sense of perspective, right? Whether you received, you know, a $10 gift card or a $10,000 car, right? Whether you received a tamal or filet mignon, right? It doesn't matter what you had. What matters is what's there, who was there. Let me tell you something. I received an Apple Watch for Christmas and I'm very grateful because I know my wife worked tremendously hard to get me that watch. However, what I'm even more grateful for is her presence, her love, her kindness, right? That's what really what matters, guys. Don't focus on the materialistic things. Whether you're working class, middle class, or upper class, what really matters is love, guys. The best thing you can wish for is a life filled with love, right? Because that's an intangible gift. So expressing gratitude for that life filled with love will actually make you a happier person. And that's what really, that's really what I want you guys to focus on is understanding that gratitude, although vulnerable, right? Sometimes it feels strange to say thank you, will actually make you a happier person. It's a vulnerable choice, but I want you all to focus on what you have versus what you don't have so that you can be a more successful individual, live a happier life, and ultimately self-actualize, okay? So just to recap, guys, expressing gratitude is a vulnerable choice, but be sure to do it. Focus on what's there as opposed to what's not there, SGM family. It's simple. Focus on what you have versus what you don't have. All right, that's all I have for you today, SGM family. As always, don't forget to be a scholar first, gamer second, and a nerd always. I'll see you on the next one.